I've got a few more things to talk about. Sam, I have a question for you. Do you like fun facts? Because yes. you know what time it is. It's Lewis's favorite time. Only when they come from only when they come only. from Joshua. All 26, right 26 <laughs> jungle book fun facts. No, no, Josh, just six. Just well, he, 56. He one bumped up every year. my five anyway. Already had his six, and he has a seventh already in the chamber because he knows he's going to do that's more. That's your bonus one. Okay, let's go. You hit us with your jump. Today is still a secret. Book. Have you just told us about it? Uh, yeah, right. It's supposed to. Shh. Sorry. <laughs> we need to have like a jump roll intro for him. Blah, 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 blah. Have you ever seen Christmas blah, blah, blah. Vacation? It goes. Blah, 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 yes. Yeah. Like what the fuck? <laughs> We're doing the. <laughs> Is Randy in the Navy clock? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> say grace. Say they want you to a say the blessing. A blessing. <laughs> Did somebody Sam. break wind? <laughs> Sam, have you seen Christmas Vacation? I feel bad for people who don't know. Sam, you're missing like you. Sam have you you're seen missing Christmas that. Vacation? Louis, have you? It's been years. Yes, of course what? I have. What? It's the best movie ever. I have to watch it every oh, year. Every year. Every year. It's like you can't have Christmas and not watch that movie or Christmas Story or Die oh Hard. God. You know? Make you watch <laughs> <it>. oh. <laughs> Christmas in July. Yeah. So Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Of course Absolutely. it is. It happens Absolutely. during a Christmas party. Yep. We had this debate a long time ago. I think um, Airbnb had that debate when they were on. We had a debate with Bill and Barry about that being an actual Christmas movie or not, but there's no debate. All right, no, it's Josh. not. I mean, I, now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho! What? Oh, I mean, oh, <laughs> come on. We have the build up. J Joey, give it to oh. us. What is happening right now? Josh's juicy fun facts. <laughs> <laughs> so right. tonight we're going to go over the Jungle Book because today is the 56th anniversary. It was the last animated bare film that Walt Disney. Sorry. Simple bare necessities. <laughs> this was the last animated film that Walt worked on before his death. The film cost four million dollars to make, but over the lifetime of the movie, they've made three hundred and seventy-eight million dollars on it. Yeah. Uh Rudyard Kipling was the author of the original jungle book novel that was published in 1894. According to his daughter, Elsie Kipling. Mowgli is pronounced Mowgli, not Mowgli. It is said that she never forgave Disney for this mistake. No. Uh, <clears throat> Bitter. Oh, wait. I already went over the money. Okay. After Kyle got injured, he said, oh, my sacriliac? Sacriliac. There we go. But after Kyle got injured, he said, my sacriliac. This was an improvised line by Sterling Holloway, as it was meant as a joke because the sacriliac is the joint that connects your hip bone to your spine, and snakes don't have hips. <laughs> <laughs> there was a nearsighted character named Rocky the Rhino that ended up getting cut from the film because Walt didn't find his comedic scenes very funny. Milt's call was set to be the animator of this character. Rocky ended up making an appearance in the film Bed Knobs and Broomsticks and again in the series Jungle Cubs in 1996. He wouldn't join a Jungle Book film until 2016's live action release. His original concept artist was Floyd Norman, the first African-American animator hired by the Disney company back in the late 1960s to work on Sleeping Beauty. Hold on, I'm going to uh, hold you up for one second there. I'm going to stop you. So if you guys don't know that before Walt's apartment, there was another podcast called The Decast. David actually had the opportunity to interview Floyd Norman, which um, we have that somewhere in our feed. I will try to find it and re-put it out because it was a very good that's interview. I'll that's go one through. of my unicorn uh, interviews. I saw out. him at MelsCon. Yeah, he was at Mel. I had dinner with him. Yeah. Once oh, in yeah, a while. Sorry. That dude was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, he's ahead, cool. Tom. He is. Uh, Walt wanted Ka to have his own song, so he approached the Sherman brothers to write a song especially for the Devious Snake. Within a week, Ka had Trust in Me. They were able to complete the song so quickly because it was the re lyricized song, The Land of Sand, which was meant to be in Mary Poppins, but was cut from the film. And here's the bonus. 
The voice of Mowgli was provided by Bruce Reitherman, the son of director Wolfgang Reitherman, who was the director of this movie. Bruce voiced Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh in the, the Honey Tree the year before because his father was also the director of that film. He was 10 to 11 years old when he recorded his lines for that movie. Nepo kid. Nepo. With Sterling Holloway, <laughs> who was Pa and Pooh. So both of them were in both movies back to back. Oh, and this picture behind me is uh, concept art from the movie. Right, let's bring it up. Let's put us all awesome. the people watching. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. Love it. Is that it? Uh, Baloo is actually described as a sloth bear in the book. <laughs> sloth bear? A sloth okay. bear. So they got okay. lazy out of it. They don't look like Baloo looks, but it's a sloth <laughs> bear. Speaking of sloth, I, I love I love Frick the Sloth in the Once Upon a Story. Hey, before you go, uh, do you want to hear some facts about a sloth bear? Since we know that's Bring what Baloo is. Bring it. Just do Come it. on, go ahead. Well, that's later. That's later. That's later. I just didn't read it. So with a keen sense of smell, the sloth bear can smell grubs three feet into the ground, which this ties into the whole eating ants thing because they eat bugs. They aren't very large, with males weighing in at 300 pounds. They are also considered the most aggressive bear and are responsible for more fatal attacks on humans in just one area of India than all of the fatal attacks from brown bears on the whole planet. There are roughly 200,000 brown bears on Earth and only 20,000 sloth bears. What about okay. cocaine bears? What, cocaine bears? There's only one? I think they died. <laughs> I have yet to see that one as well, but it's on my bears. list. So we need those to are, get... Those are bonus facts that I add into my Disney facts that are related to the Disney fact. You're just trying to get as many fun facts in as you possibly can, huh? Yeah, that makes it <laughs> for tonight. He never he, does that. 